Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today we're going to replace the screen on the Samsung Note 10 Plus. As always, we replace this with the frame because it's easier to do, and it's definitely a better option. So the tools that we will need will be a PH000 screwdriver, a prying tool like this for the battery, a playing card, and some heat. You'll also need some glue when you glue on the back. And we'll need some clamps to hold down the glue. You could use adhesive, but I recommend using the glue. For this video, we're going to use adhesive and the glue, but if anything, I highly recommend using at least the glue with the clamps. This seems to be a better option if you want the back to stay on the phone. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to heat up all the corners. We want to make sure to get a decent amount of heat, but not heat it up too much, if that makes sense. Because what we're going to do is we're going to try and get under the glass and cut through the adhesive. So once you heated it up a decent amount, you can use a playing card to cut through the adhesive. However, it seems that even with a decent amount of heat, it's still pretty difficult to get under that. So you might want to use a razor blade like this just to get the playing card under the glass. Once we get the playing card in, we can start cutting through the adhesive. Remember, if it feels difficult to cut through the adhesive, add some more heat. So we've added a decent amount of heat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut through the adhesive all the way to the top, trying to be very careful around the cameras. And then I'm going to cut through the bottom, and then I'm going to cut through the right side, going all the way to the top as well. Just like the left side with the cameras, you want to be careful on the right side for the power and volume buttons, because that area is a little bit more fragile. So once we cut through a decent amount of the adhesive, what we're going to do is pry up a little bit, and then we're going to add some heat to the top, and it's just going to lift up like shown. And once we remove that, you can start removing this adhesive, or you can do it later, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove it all right now. You also want to remove the adhesive on the bottom and on the top if it didn't stick to the back of the phone, but you can always deal with that in a few minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the screws that we see with the PH000 bit. And then we're going to lift up this little metal piece right here. We're going to unplug the battery and unplug the wireless charging piece and pull down on that. This should lift up the speaker on the bottom, but if it doesn't, lift it up starting with the top. Once that's removed, you can lift up this plastic piece and we can start removing all these cables. I started with the power button cable, the S Pen cable, the display cable, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave these two cables plugged in because we're gonna remove the bottom charging port. So you wanna remove the three screws on the bottom, and then you want to lift up on the port starting with the top area and kind of pull out like shown. Last thing you want to do is remove the S Pen plug right here. And then we're going to remove the S Pen as well and make sure to remove the SIM card tray. Now we can just use these cables to lift straight up and the board should come out like shown. Now we're going to remove the battery. Be very careful with this. Make sure not to puncture it. What I'm doing is I'm using this pry tool to lift up the battery just a little bit. And then I'm going to use a credit card style to cut through the adhesive under the battery. This will be difficult, so don't worry too much. Just make sure not to cut through the battery. Now you want to make sure this battery is flat, so feel free to flatten it out. But again, don't add too much pressure. Now, like I said, we bought the screen with the frame and it comes with everything on here. But if it doesn't, here's what we're going to do. We're going to remove the vibrating mechanism right here, just kind of pry up, and it should come out pretty easily. Then when you install it, all you got to do is just put it back in the same place. Then for the S Pen, we use the service pack so we don't have to move this, but if you do, what I recommend is removing this little plastic piece right here. I recommend starting at the bottom and just kind of cutting through the adhesive going all the way to the top and then you just put it on to the new phone. Make sure the adhesive still looks good and just line up the top, line up the bottom and add some pressure. 
The power buttons are generally in the frame, so the last thing you would want to move is the loudspeaker right here. All you got to do is just pry up right here, make sure it doesn't separate, and it should come out pretty easily. Then all you got to do is just set it back in the phone. You might need to add some double-sided adhesive, but normally it should just set back into the phone. So we're going to remove all these plastic covers, and then we're going to plug in the logic board starting with the front camera area, and then pushing down on the rest of it. Now what we're going to do with these cables is we're going to lift them up so then we can get the battery in here and kind of line it up and plug it in just so we can make sure that it's lined up properly. Once everything looks nice, unplug the battery and continue putting the phone back together. So we're going to get the charging port in place, but first we're going to plug in the LCD just to make sure that that plugs in as well. And it looks like it plugs in fine. Next what we're going to do is line up the charging port starting with the bottom portion first and then pushing down on the rest of it. Everything should line up so then the screws can go back in, which is what we're going to do right now. Now before I forget, I'm going to put the S Pen in here and I'm also going to put the SIM card right back in place. Then we're going to put the bottom speaker in, again starting where the charging port is and then pushing down on the rest. And then we're going to add the screws that go into this panel. Then what we're going to do is grab this plastic piece, put it back on the top, again starting with the top portion, and then we're going to add the screws. Lastly, we're going to plug in the battery and then the wireless charging, although I recommend plugging in the battery last. Fold this piece over, and then we're going to put the screws back in place. Now that all the screws are back in the phone, let's power it back on, and it looks like it's working fine. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the back on. So in this case, I'm going to apply double-sided adhesive. It's pretty much going to go around the trim of the phone where the gray areas are, and then we're going to add some glue after that. And I had a little bit left over, so I'm going to put some on the right side of the bottom speaker. Once we're done cutting the adhesive, I'm going to grab this glue. In this situation, I'm going with the T7000, but B6000 and B7000 should work perfectly fine. I recommend applying this where you put the glue. This is supposed to make it waterproof, but I wouldn't recommend dunking your phone underwater after this. So put the back on, line it up, make sure everything looks nice, and then you can apply the clamps to let this sit. For some reason on the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus it takes a while, so I recommend leaving it as long as you can. But if I had to recommend a time, I would say maybe 2-3 to three hours. Also I recommend having 5 or 6 on the sides, and 1 on the top and bottom like shown. Now after that time is over, all you gotta do is remove the clamps and clean up the adhesive. It's fairly easy to remove. All you gotta do is just use your finger or use your fingernail and it should just come off. Feel free to use some rubbing alcohol to clean this up, but you don't really have to add too much stuff to kind of get rid of this. Be careful when using a razor blade. I know what I'm doing with this and I'm staying away from the metal, but using it on the glass should be fine. And of course the battery's dead on this, but the screen still works and that's all that matters. And that's it. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or on Twitter at Matt of RWR, and feel free to follow me on the social media listed above. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more repair as well as some review videos. And hit that bell button so then YouTube actually reminds you when those videos do come out. Thanks for watching.